Leo, you have an opportunity that it's about to come in. You need to release a pattern of behavior that was probably around since childhood. Hi, this is Sonia here to do a tarot reading for you. All readings are timeless, and when you are drawn to this reading, there could be a message for you. Remember, energies can go both ways, so you could be a cross-watcher. Also, check out your moon and rising sign for better understanding, and if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to donate down below. If you'd like further understanding or spiritual understanding, you can subscribe to my other channel. There's a link for that below. Also, if you would like a personal reading, um, email me for rates or an appointment. And as always, thank you to all of you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And let's get started. Hi, this message is for Leo. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, I went ahead and I pulled the Oracle cards. Sorry. And some Archetype cards. And I'm going to, and some tarot cards, and I'm going to clarify with another tarot deck as we go. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first two cards I got are from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Um, this is the overall energy, and I've got the Andean Cross and the Child. And those two messages I'm going to read to you, but... What I'm seeing right now is that there's some opportunity that's going to come in for you. It says, I'm going to read the essence first for the Andean cross. It says the Andean cross represents the cosmology of the shaman. It depicts, depicts the four cardinal directions, the upper and lower worlds, the steps to reach these realms. The hole in the center is a galaxy to in interdimensional travel the proverbial eye of the needle we can all go through to experience higher states of awareness wisdom and to break free of limit layer time the invitation the ending cross announces the start of a great journey it's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day-to-day -to, -day to that which until now has seemed beyond your grasp Allow new wisdom to guide you and to stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. Okay, so, and then the next card you got is the child, and it's reversed. So that's going to be a medicine from this book. And it says... The medicine says, the child comes to show you how you can correct the course of your life without being punished. Set yourself free from your conditioning for suffering. You are born unfettered and happy and can be so again if you make the choice right now. The child will help you climb out of the hole you may have dug yourself into to recover your sense of place. So, and that plays goes right along with the first two cards because the first one you got is what do you need to release waning moon with the wheel reversed this is about patterns like that you've repeated over and over again in your life and needing to release certain patterns and i can tell that you need um to release them because you have something coming in it looks like a new relationship um if it's not a relationship then it is something that is connecting you to like your higher self or higher soul um like your soul's purpose basically um i'll get one more clarifying card for the will reverse what it is that you need to release like a pattern it's like a pattern so something you've repeated over and over again um, Knight of Pentacles if it's a person it could be a person it could be an earth sign uh, Taurus Capricorn or Virgo but the Knight of Pentacles talks about doing things like in a very like slow 
methodical way, thinking about it, not moving, um, making sure everything's perfect. Or it could be someone. Yeah, there's something to do. This is the strength card reversed. That's your card reversed. Um, and the strength, when it's upright, it's about overcoming a shadow part of yourself, like taming your shadow, basically. It could have something to do with your health. Because the Knight of Pentacles can be seen as Virgo, a Virgo, but also has, yeah, I'm seeing something to do, it could have something to do with your health. So in some way that you're not taking action to take care of yourself, like you're weak, it could be something as simple as needing to, um, get into an exercising routine or eating differently, eating healthy, letting go of something that is not good for you. Um, yeah, I'm seeing that even more with the next card because the next card is the stone. And the stone is like your center. So you may be off balance, like physically, in a health way. And by bringing yourself back into that healthy alignment, somehow that's going to bring this two of shells in. This is union and harmony. So it's like you need to bring it could be that you have other, um, like say your spiritual self is really doing really well. Say your just um, other aspects of your life are doing well. And then there's one part that's off balance. And by bringing that into balance, it could actually bring in a, a relationship if you're looking for one. Or it's going to bring you into alignment with, like I said, you're like, um, what something that you feel like is like destined for you, your soul's purpose. What is the two of shells? <laughs> uh, the lovers just came out. So yeah, that's, I'm really seeing that as a relationship. And it could be, okay, so yeah, what I'm seeing too is that like, if you've had um, relationships in the past that weren't, that ended up a certain way that you didn't like, okay, it was an unhealthy relationship, I'm seeing that you need to leave behind the thinking that all your relationships are going to go that same way in the future. It's like leaving that cycle of relationships in the past so that you can come into this new relationship with a different expectation. And don't go into it expecting the relationship to prove what you believe about relationships wrong. You have to believe differently first for you to see that it can go differently. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini as well. And the next card I got is Eros, which is about like sensualness, sexuality, touch. <laughs> and, um, I'm just seeing a lot of fun. I'm actually seeing from these cards too, it could be that you're reuniting with someone from the past. 
because the three of shells can be that. But I'm seeing like fun. Um, what is the three of shells? Five of swords. Hmm. I feel like this is supposed to be upright, but let me put them back in and because it came out sideways. But okay, so what is the three of shells with arrows for me? The Empress reversed. Hmm. I'm going to get one more real quick. What is the Empress? Three of Shells. That's the Empress reversed. Holy crap. Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords reversed and the Six of Pentacles. So this is like, um, you could be, have been dealing with a Taurus in the past or like the pattern that you're letting go of has to do with something connected to your relationship with your mother. Like your relationship, like feeling like you're not enough. And so you give more. I hate it when my light does that. Turn back on. But anyway, um, so you give more. But what I'm showing is that like you're ending that, that need, that feeling that you have to continuously give too much to have a balanced relationship. And I'm feeling like there's just like a lot of fun is what I'm seeing from this. It's like as you start, if it's, it has to do with a cycle with your mother it's like if you start mothering yourself like you're going to receive that same kind of huh you're going to receive that same type of treatment back from others and that could have to do with you taking care of like your physical self your your health because like i said i'm seeing health here in the beginning it could be that you're not taking care of yourself and so like the people that you've attracted in the past were not seeing you as important as well. And so by you making yourself a priority and making yourself important, others will see you in that way. Because what I'm seeing is you got, the next card you got is the mirror. It's like they reflect back to you what you are giving to yourself and that came out with the four of acorns and this is comfort community this is like this can often be engagement or marriage i don't know what kind of animal that is i'm like i am horrible a seal or a walrus or something but it's like um it could be marriage. Like, I remember for some reason seeing that as marriage, and I don't know why. Um, like a bride. Like that animal. And I don't know if it's because I heard someone say that before or what. But um, it could be a new home. Because I am seeing the possibility of moving too here. Yeah. You got the Page of Swords, which can be a messenger, and then the Three of Wands here, which can be about moving, like going, there's like, um, if it's a relationship, it could be that this relationship 
is distant and you're moving to be in this relationship or it's like you're moving away from family members or a community or like certain beliefs but I'm seeing like a new home or a new relationship something that you're starting it's like a new new way of living is what I'm seeing and definitely a new way of living and it's different from what how you were raised different from the society you're raised so this could be like a different town but it could also just be a moving away from like the traditions or um, the patterns that repeat in your family there could be something really different about the relationship um, page of swords it could be with an air sign but I'm seeing like you taking action in a new direction um, and this is like you having focus on your like your aim, like your aim where you're where you're heading um, why is the two of acorns here with the village I don't know which way this was supposed to pop up but we've got the four cups here I'm gonna get one more okay sorry I just saw something <laughs> okay so what I'm seeing is that um, page of Pentacles just flipped out okay so you could be the Queen of Cups was at the bottom of the, uh, the deck okay so what I'm showing is that you have like a focus uh, you you see where you want to go and you're focusing on that and you're aiming for that and the relationship if it is someone coming back it could be someone who you wanted to be with before but they were just kind of like not taking your cup basically because the four cups represents like being offered something and just kind of like sitting there not really paying attention to it or not seeing it and I'm seeing like when you start to see yourself, basically, others are going to see you. And it could be that all good things coming in for you. Um, basically, because I'm seeing like Venus and Venus is like beauty, love, money, beauty, love and money. So, with this page of pentacles, um, there's the coin there. It has that five, that five pointed star on it. And then the last card you got here is the um, new moon in Sagittarius, which says luck is on your side. Yeah, and the five of what is it? Five of feathers here reversed. And this five of feathers, when it's upright, it's about being strategic. And with it being reversed, it's like you don't have to be strategic about getting what you want anymore because instead you're taking care of yourself and your own needs. And so then the things that you want are attracted to you. And so it feels like it's like all of a sudden you start having this good luck. Why is the five of feathers reversed? Look, it's on your side for Leo. Yeah, and there's that Queen of Cups that I saw earlier. So it could be, um, and the Three of Cups is on the bottom. So yeah, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you are reconnecting with or connecting with. But this person. What I'm seeing, is, if it's a person, if it's a relationship, loves you. And this person, if they were not seeing you in the past, they're seeing you now, and they are connecting with you because they they, they see what they were missing before, basically. Yeah, I'm seeing a reunion. So I'm going to read this look is on your side to you, though, from the 
Moonology Oracle book. And then Sagittarius. Okay, so it says, whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart. See, it's a restart. Like I said, that's what I see. After a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks, but be careful you don't bet the farm on something here, as the Wheel of Fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up, which I was also seeing. Uh, movement and possibly to another location if that's something you're working to achieve but the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift even if, even if that simply means widening your world so that's what I have for you Leo um, if you want to see more be sure to subscribe and like this you can leave comments below and i'll try and uh, respond to those and i will see you next time so thanks for watching